Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with amandasinspirationstation.com. Thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wednesday. Today is July 14th. Um, if you're new to me, every Wednesday I um, pick one bundle or stamp set um, and I create two projects with it. Um, and this week I'm actually taking two stamp sets and I'm kind of combining them together um, for my two weekly Wednesday projects. Um, if you are watching me on YouTube, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Um, and it, under the link, um, there is a spot too for the projects that we do today. I have a free printable project sheet. So it'll um, have the colored copy um, pictures of the projects that we make today. It'll have the measurements and the supply list. And that's completely free. It just takes you straight to my blog, which is amandasinspirationstation.com. Um, I do sell tutorials on my blog and my tutorial store for other projects that I have done, but these ones here um, are completely free project sheets for you once a week. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so today let's get started before I say um like a million jillion more times. <laughs> so I am going to combine two stamp sets today for my two projects that we're doing. Um, we're doing, there I go again, Stellar Birthday and To the Moon. Um, I love these stamp sets and Last, earlier this month with my team meeting, the Crafty Cats, we were talking about how everyone comes up with adorable 3D treat projects and how they do that. And we were talking about that and I said, well, how I do it is I take a look at a stamp set that I like. Now to me, these kind of go hand in hand because you got the moon and you got, you know, the little space kids. And um, so I'll look at this and I'll think, oh my gosh, you know, what kind of treats? So earlier um, in a weekly Wednesday project, I think I did it a month or two ago. I did like a moon pie. I mean, that was kind of, you know, moon pie to the moon. And we were talking and I said that I had come, I was thinking about doing another one and I was going to use Pop Rocks. And the reason why Pop Rocks comes to my mind with these stamp sets is because I think of um, like Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I think of asteroids and how they have to go through the asteroids. Um, and you know how the Empire follows them through an asteroid field. So for me, the Pop Rocks, that's kind of what that reminded me of, especially because they kind of blow up. <laughs> in your mouth. So I created this cute little matchbook um, treat holder that holds Pop Rocks. So I was like, okay, I have to do that. Well, then we were talking and Carla, who is um, a crafty cat on my team, she was like, well, you know, if you're talking about these two things, another great treat idea would be like a Milky Way, a Milky Way candy bar. So um, thank you, Carla, because I didn't even think of Milky Way. Um, so there I go again. Um, I'm going to say it like a hundred times. So please forgive me. We're going to make this other cute, adorable little treat holder here using Milky Way fun size candy bars. These are just little things that you could, you know, leave at your, you know, your, your coworker's desk. If it's their birthday, maybe you just want to, you know, say something like this one here just says, congratulations. You're out of this world. Maybe they got a promotion at work. Maybe, Maybe it's a teacher, you know, that you want to give recognition to. It could be anything, okay? So these are the little treats that we're going to do today. We're going to combine these two stamp sets. And the only other, besides inks um, and some different paper, we are going to use two dies. We're using the stitched stars, which for the sake of the video, I've already cut out the stars. Um, but then we also are using the layering circle because we're going to... Um, cut out this moon. Now, this is the second to largest straight circle. So that will cut out this moon perfectly. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of set that aside because we are going to have to do that. Then the other things that we're going to use is this designer series paper and this black and white designer series paper. This designer series paper on the right here is in your annual catalog on page 134. 
Um, this is just part of our six by six paper stacks. And we're using Gorgeous Grape on this, so it is part of the brights. And then for this one, this is our pattern party. And if you follow me, you know I love this paper. It is oh, my favorite. Um, you can get it in Hostess Rewards. It costs $18. On one side, it's all black and white. On the other side, it's all these bright, fun colors. Now, to get Hostess Rewards, to earn Hostess Rewards, you have to have either your own order of $150 or more, or maybe you're having a workshop, like a party um, of $150 or more, or you've combined sales. Maybe you, your friend, and your mom all have like a, you know sales that you want to join together so that somebody can earn those Hostess Rewards. That's how you would get them. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the matchbox first. And we're off. Oh, and we're going to use some ribbon today. Got to use some ribbon. So we're actually going to use for this one the Highland Heather ribbon. I love this ribbon because it is soft. It is workable. Whenever I'm doing like treat things like this, I like big ribbons. Um, and this one's like shimmery and glittery, which I think of, of course, Galaxy Space. So we're going to use that. And then with this one, we're going to use the black glitter um, um, organdy ribbon. So I'm super excited about that too. So we're going to use that. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the matchbox. Okay, so you're going to need your cardstock, and I chose the gorgeous grape. <clears throat> This is going to measure at three and a fourth by ten and a fourth. You're going to get out your simple score tool. If you do not have a simple score tool, I highly recommend getting one. Um, I absolutely love mine. Quick story, when I first got this, I had to have it. I thought it was the coolest thing, and I stuck it in a drawer, and I never used it. <sighs> I know. We are all... I'm sure we all are guilty of this. I really <laughs> I really feel like there's one thing of stamping up or a craft product doesn't have to be stamping up that we had to have and then we stuck in a drawer. Um, so I highly recommend getting it back out. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool and I use it all the time now. But if you do not currently have one, you do have a score tool on your paper trimmer. You could use that. All right, so we're just gonna do two score lines and we're gonna do it landscape side. We're gonna do it at one and we're gonna do it at six. And I feel like, I keep looking at this piece of cardstock and it looks a little long. I think I need to trim it, but you do do it at one and you do do it at six. Okay, so, doesn't this look long? I think I need to trim this down just a tad. So I promise I will have the right measurements in on the project sheet but I am going to trim this down just a little bit because I think I cut it wrong when I cut it for the video. Okay, and you know what? We all make mistakes, so that's our matchbox or matchbook, and then here is, there we go, yes, I did. I knew I had it a little bit long and I was a little concerned. So I promise to have the right measurement, so it is four, by three for the designer series paper. And then this is three by three and a fourth. Now this is what we're gonna put on the outside here. But before we do that, we wanna cover up our staple mark. So let's go ahead and put our staple mark um, around, or um, let's go ahead and put our candy in there and then we'll staple it so that we can put our mark. I'm just tipping the candy kind of to the top so that when I put it here like this, I can go ahead and staple it and I'm not stapling through candy. There we go, so we're just doing like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. All right, perfect. Now we have our matchbook, okay? That's simple. Now we need to decorate it. So we're gonna get ribbon, we're gonna do some stamping, and I already have um, the little stars, which are black, of course, so I put them on a black thing. So um, let me find, uh oh, oh, there it is. Hold on. Ah. All right, so I have my little stars here that we're going to use. This piece of cardstock here I'm using for the, um, the moon. I just, it's three and a half by four and a quarter. 
it, just grab a scrap piece of paper. That's really all you need. We're going to use the Smoky Slate ink pad, and I'm going to tip it upside down because I want to make sure that I really get that all inked up. And then, um, actually, you know what I'm going to grab? I'm going to grab my piercing mat. Um, just because this is a photopolymer stamp set, it is a little bit um, of a bigger image. So I do want to make sure that I'm not having any issues with it. So there's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the sayings on it. Because then afterwards I'm going to do these little gorgeous grape little stars. So I want to do the congratulations and boy i am batting a thousand today you guys i'm so sorry but there is a piece of hair in there all right and i don't want that to ruin my image all right so i'm going to do congratulations in the middle of the moon just like that and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put you're out of this world which the you're out of this world is from um, the stellar birthday. So then I'm going to kind of do that at the bottom here like that. And then I'm going to take my gorgeous grape with these little, um, like star images, which are, all of this is from the to the moon stamp set, except for the only things we're using from this in both projects is you're out of this world and there's no one like you in the whole universe. Those are the only two images we're using. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to randomly stamp these and stamp around and out. It's totally fine um, because we're going to die cut this. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of do an image like that in there. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to take our circle die and we're going to run this through our cut in an emboss machine. So let me get my cut and emboss machine out. I'm going to put that on and I have a little piece of washi tape here that I'm just going to um, lay it down so that it doesn't slide. All right. And we'll take that and there's our moon all right so we don't need this circle die anymore and my washi tape just ripped so we'll just throw that away all right so now what we're gonna do is before we attach this we need to wrap our ribbon around so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap our ribbon around this so i'm gonna get out my highland heather ribbon and I'm going to kind of put it underneath like this because I'm going to do the bow on the left side. And I'm literally just kind of, honestly, I'm kind of guesstimating. I do want to make sure that I have enough space on this side of ribbon to make a pretty decent sized bow. So I'm giving it quite a, quite a bit of room here. So I'm going to now tie the bow and we're going to Go like that okay and then I'm gonna get my little Mickey ears and we're going to do that okay so there there it is now I'm gonna tuck my flap in because I've got my bow now oops I got something stick in there all right so now we're gonna do that I gotta move my candy kind of around because when I moved it up to the top, there, now we wanna, we wanna flatten it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this over top and we're just going to use our dimensionals for that. We wanna pop that up. All right. We're just gonna kind of set that over to the top. And then we're gonna use dimensionals for this too, for our stars. So we have one dimensional here and then I have a half a dimensional if I'm gonna use that. Otherwise, I would say use your mini dimensionals for a smaller die like this. And then I'm just literally going to place that one there and I'm gonna place that one there. And there you have it, a little matchbook 
candy. It's so cute. And it really is just the sentiment. It's just cute. Congratulations, you're out of this world. So that's that treat holder. So now let's go ahead and move to the Milky Way one. Um, and we're going to use a couple fun things with this. We're, we're going to need three Milky Way candy bars. Um, fun size. I used fun size. We're actually going to use a clear envelope today. So you need a clear envelope because that's what we're going to wrap it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Milky Way candy bars and we're going to wrap it in like this. And we're going to push them all the way down to the bottom like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the backing off because it does attach and we're just going to bring that down like that. And now you have your treats. So far I did it crooked, so of course I'm going to fix it. All right, so there you go. Now there's your little plastic holder. I love these, these clear envelopes are for so much more. Um, I've seen demonstrators use these clear envelopes to make a shaker card. Um, they're great for treats. Um, they're de definitely not just to hold a card. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this one then. So you need a piece of cardstock, and I use black, and this measures at four and a half by five and three fourths. Now we're going to need to get out our um, simple score tool again. We're going to score it twice, um, and we're going to score it on the landscape side, so the five and three four side, and we're gonna just gonna score it at one inch and two inch. That is all we're doing. Easy peasy. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that score line up like that, and we're gonna bring that score line up like that. Now, technically, mine, when I, I the thought process was to fit like this, but it did. I did find when I did the ribbon, it kind of came up like this, but I kind of liked it like that, so I left it like that, and that's how we're gonna do it. So we need our designer series paper. We're gonna put that in there first. This piece here measures at four and a quarter by three and a half, and this is also four and a quarter, but this is only three fourths. So we're gonna use this little strip here, and we're gonna put this one at the top. And then we're going to put this one on the inside, just like that. All right, and now we're gonna attach this. I, do, I don't want this sliding out, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our tear and tape. And we are going to put some tear and tape across this because we don't, we don't want it falling out. So let's do that, and then we're going to place that right inside, and then that way it's, you know, secure. All right, so now we can go ahead and do our ribbon too. So we're going to kind of do the same thing that we did with the Highland Heather ribbon. We're going to lay our treat, but we're just going in an opposite direction. Um, so with the Highland, we did the bow on the left side. Now we're going to do the bow up on the top. I want to make sure that I have enough for a big bow. So I'm just bringing it up like that. I'm going to center it, though. And I'm just going to tie it like this. And now I got my Mickey ears here. And we're going to... it like that and there you have it so there's your bow okay now we're going to do a little stamping because we still need to stamp some stuff so i have a couple pieces here i have a stitched black star a stitched um coastal cabana star i want to do the galaxy um which the galaxy is also from the stellar birthday so i guess it's not just these two we're using that one too so i'm going to use that and i want to stamp we're just doing tone on tone so i'm taking the coastal cabana ink pad and i'm putting it on the coastal cabana cardstock i'm going to take a dimensional and i'm literally going to pop that up 
like that. And then I'm going to literally pop these, this star now onto my project. And I'm going to put it over where the ribbon is. So we're just gonna go like that, okay? Now we just need to stamp the scene and we're gonna use Memento. And we're just gonna stamp it. Just grab a scrap piece of paper. That's all you need for this one. Grab your paper snips. And yes, I fussy cutted this out. So we're gonna fussy cut this by the word. So I'm literally like going to go in here, up, in, up, out, up, out, up. I'm going to go all the way across and I'm going to go in, down, in, down, out, down, out, and down. And that's all we're doing. And then I'm gonna trim that little bit at the end there. Okay, and that gives us this little, this little look here. So now I'm going to put two dimensionals there on the back and I'm just going to put them over to the side here. All right, so there you go, that's it. This is a very easy treat. You could do this with all kinds of stuff, but I think this is cool. Um, this is just a cool way to give somebody just a little something. Maybe they're feeling down on the day and you just want to say, you know what? There's no one like you in the universe. You're one of a kind. That's just a nice thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's weekly Wednesday projects. Um, again, this was fun. This is all you got to do is take a look at a stamp set and figure out just different kinds of candies that either A, have the same words in them or the same, you know, maybe there's, I don't even know how to explain it, but like, you know, to the moon, they have moon pies. You know, if you get a baking set, maybe you go and get a little Debbie treat holder. They're just so cute and so adorable. And Carla came up with these Milky Way. Good job, Carla. I love it. Um, and then we have the Pop Rocks. So, I will see you guys next week for our weekly Wednesday. You have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.